Every time we think we're going to be slow, we do all right. And every time we think we'll be all right, we'll be slow. So, um, yeah, tough conditions. Um, but I think even in the dry, we were pretty good. Uh, I made some mistakes on my Q2 lap, so even that one should have been uh, closer towards the top. But I don't think we maybe have the pace of the Red Bull in, in outright conditions, uh, in the dry especially. But in the wet now, like um, surprisingly very quick, you know, I could get good tie attempts and I could push hard. Tough, like I saw Charles go off in front of me, so that made me like... <laughs> Like chill out a little bit. Uh, I was getting a bit giddy, but um, they're conditions where you got to push and you got to take risks, and uh, and they all paid off. So perfect start to the weekend. So happy. Uh, as soon as I saw the rain coming, I was getting excited because naturally, on the dry conditions, we're not quick enough. Um, so when the rain came, then I kind of thought that I would have a bit of a better op opportunity, and then that's when it kind of all came came alive. Uh, quite stressful, to be honest. I mean, kill one, we were. Just looking at the radar and, and the threat of rain was there uh, since the first minute. Uh, we did, yeah, we made some progress in Q1 and then Q2 just because we were P8 or P9. So, yeah, not super competitive on the on the dry and then it rained at the end in Q3. And, uh, yeah, every lap was uh, a little bit different conditions. The tires, they were... Uh, a bit better every lap, but the circuit was a little bit worse uh, with, with more rain. So it was difficult to judge, you know, the level of grip and the level of risk that you wanted to, to apply. So, yeah, at the end, uh, extremely happy. Yeah, it was uh, incredibly slippery. I just, um, yeah, struggled a lot to get the temperature in the tires. So uh, that's why it was just very difficult to, um, yeah, to keep the car on track. And it never really switched on for me. So it was just like driving on, on ice. And, um, yeah, I think that's why also, you know, I think it's quite deserve who we are in qualifying it was just not really uh, not really working for me in the wet um, even though I think in the dry we look quite quite good so I'm, I'm of course quite happy with that a bit of a mix uh, session uh, we made it well through through the SQ1 SQ2 and then in SQ3 the rain arrived and uh, we did manage to switch on the tires and uh, around here uh, we were struggling a lot with the rear tire we dropped the tire a lot queuing and then the tire never came up so I didn't, couldn't really push so yeah uh, two three seconds of the of the pole which uh, in P5 which just shows that in these conditions you either switch on the tire or you don't uh, anyway it seemed that uh, we both uh, cars struggled with tire temperature and warm up uh, so yeah we need if it's wet tomorrow we will need to find something if it's dry we're more or less in the mix yeah things were looking great initially um, then with the traffic with the back of people were doing uh, we were on to a good final lap and, um, and unfortunately I I just couldn't do the, the final corner, it was so tricky to get through to the final corner and that meant that I went off. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, the very first outlap was extremely tricky um, and it was very difficult to switch on the tyres. I tried to be a bit aggressive, but obviously I lost it out of turn eight. And that compromised a little bit our quality because then the, the steering wheel was a little bit bent. And uh, But uh, all in all, I, I don't think there was any miracles. Uh, there, there wasn't much more we could have done, uh, obviously, on my side. Again, I didn't maximize qualifying, which I'm not happy with. If I have to look at the positives, is that I think on the dry, I did some big steps forward. And uh, on that, I'm, I'm happy because I've been working a lot on the on the preparation of the tires on the dry. And it seems to uh, to be paying off for, for today, at least. But uh, let's uh, let's see tomorrow. The race will be long. I thought it was, was going OK. Um, and then, yeah, last lap um, had a... A bit of a moment, and when I shifted, went into neutral. So um, I don't know how much time I lost in in that. It was a decent chunk, I'd not enough to to challenge Lando for pole. Clearly, he's done a, a great job. Um, but yeah, frustrating. No, I've got no idea how, how is the race pace based on practice one, which is really a lot evolving track conditions. So it's it's hard to read. But at least on a single lap, we seem not too bad and uh, in any conditions we were there or thereabouts so that's promising for the rest of the weekend yeah obviously feel, feels great uh, in a way I think uh, if it would have been dry we probably had a bit more chance but yeah the lap was coming together from SQ1 SQ2 was getting there with one lap so there's a lot of potential but yeah in the end in the rain first lap I went straight on and I had only one lap so I would just try to get a lap on board and then, yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't really fight much. It was struggling quite a bit with overall grip, but uh, happy with the day. Fans, it's been sensational. It's been amazing. Day one, uh, back home. Yeah, it wasn't easy at all. That last, um, well, it was basically one lap in, in Q2. Uh, we tried sending it as early as we could, and then obviously got stuck behind. I think 12 cars were ahead of us, just sat in the pit lane. So, yeah, lost for tyre temperature. And then, uh, you know, it was close, you know. 
one more tenth and you're four or five positions higher. And obviously, it's just a shame to be on the bottom end of that. Um, but it's you know only the sprint qualifying and got a chance to recover in the sprint race. Not disappointed, but uh, I think after FP3, we knew the two Ferraris and the two Mercedes, and one of the um, one of the Aston Martins didn't really set a lap time. So we did get ahead of the the Mercedes here, but I I knew of course the two Ferraris were going to come up, and we didn't take the right choice in terms of the strategy. We did two two runs, basically stopping in between. And for the second lap, it it, um, it it started raining, so we took a bit of a gamble there that would have liked not to take. But anyway, um, could have paid off, and uh, P12 is not not too bad. I mean, SQ1, SQ2 was okay. There was some you know light drizzle about, but it was it was dry, uh, and it was fine. Obviously, now things get a bit more uh, uh, interesting. But um, yeah, small margins, and obviously with the little preparation time, um, not the easiest of days, but the same for everyone. And uh, that's where we are pretty much today. Yeah, it's, it's I guess one of those days where, yeah, P14 is not, uh, obviously not a result to, to get excited about, but I think personally it was a much better day um, for me. I think we, we hit the ground running this morning. Um, I think we we're in the top 10. So yeah, obviously from that, you never know. I know some cars only use one set. So we knew getting into Q3 would be tough, but um, but yeah, the feeling was, was definitely a bit better. And so I'm encouraged by that. Obviously, it's it's close, and yeah, as I said, P14 is not somewhere where we're going to be particularly over the moon with. But um, let's say on our personal little path that we're on, uh, it was a, it was a positive day. Yeah, there's not going to be much we can do in the sprint. We're 15th, but um, hopefully a better qualifying race on uh, Sunday. Yeah, we had a problem with the ERS uh, ERS this morning, so basically managed to get only like three laps out of the session and. Uh, on the spring weekend was uh, we know how important it was to um, to get it right from the start but then the guys managed to solve the issue for this afternoon um, change the the engine and managed to get the car out for qualifying so that was good and and yeah very um, pleased with the, the lap I put in uh, in that quality I think turned out to be slightly better than we um, we, we hoped I feel like um, we didn't maximize the potential of the car today um, unfortunately that's probably the first time this year that this is the case. I think there was probably more uh, in it today. And uh, yeah, with only one session, unfortunately, we, we didn't put everything together. So yeah, um, you know, some some performance left on the side, which uh, is a good thing that uh, the Park Ferme opens again so we can change for, for next qualifying. So we'll try and race tomorrow like this uh, early in the morning. And then uh, after that, try again uh, with a different setup in the car and, and see what we get. We're the first car out. So we went, we went out on a green track and then we we damaged the tyres, we tried to go again on the first second lap at the end and then um, we didn't have the grip, the tyres were gone, so uh, yeah, frustrating. I, I, don't, I don't know if we would have made Q2 today, but, but we would have been, should have been a bit better than where we were. Struggle from FP1, I would say, from the, with the balance and yeah, just grip in general. So uh, yeah, even uh, qualifying we tried a lot of things, but didn't work. Obviously I didn't, probably, I didn't also able to put it all together as well but at the same time yeah struggle from the from the grip I would say um, so don't know what's happening there but uh, yeah very struggling I would say <sighs> mixed feelings um, I think again like Japan I feel like I did a, a pretty decent job um, but unfortunately that's that's uh, at the back of the grid so um, felt like there was a little bit more in there I'm sure everyone can say the same the tracks extremely slippery today um, extremely low grip which makes it makes it difficult um, but honestly the car just felt a bit disconnected today